Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today, one of our moderators, Joe Kelly, who does a weekly Sunday video series, which is a how-to series on many different topics. Today, we have a very special video on low-hanging fruit, trigger orders, and sizing strategies. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Today we're going to talk about what I call the one-fifth rule, okay? So the one-fifth rule is a scaling method I use in order to spread my orders out and determine my size. So I like to use the one-fifth rule in a couple different scenarios. So in the scenario I like to apply it in the most is on low-hanging fruit plays. So low-hanging fruit plays can be things like... Uh, Let's uh, message this off to the side here. We something like a former runner. So a former runner is going to be anything that um, ran in the prior, you know, it can be years. It can be years ago. That was a former runner. It can be months ago. It can be weeks ago. It can be days ago. My favorite ones are the days ago plays. Um, you know, it was a former runner a few days ago. And I like to apply the low hanging fruit strategy that Bao teaches. And I use a one fifth rule for the scaling. And what I want to explain is the scaling method and using the range orders. Because and let's say that that is the move that we are focusing on. And the ideal level is not that red line because that doesn't help much. It is this black line right here. So the ideal level is right above this black line, okay? And now, let's say this level on the left side over here starts at, let's say, like 335. And it goes up to, let's say, uh, at the top here, it goes to 350. And it gets to 350 at the top. And then there's a wick. You know, you're looking at the line chart, and this is, you know, what the peak looks like. It's, you know, it's... So 350 is the top of that peak. But on a line chart, the way it's calculated is it's the closing price during that time frame. So if it's a one minute chart, the reason why you use one minute is because it feeds in more data and your line becomes more accurate. Um, if you use a five minute line chart, it's a wider average. And so the, the chart doesn't get as uh, accurate to the wicks and everything. And so the one minute average close is, it, let's say it's 350, that's the peak of the line chart. But if you look at the candle chart, because you should use candles combined with line charts, because let's say that there's a, a level at 350, but above 350, you saw that it went parabolic above there, and there's a big wick hanging out. And that wick, oh my, won't go straight. There we go. It went all the 350, and then the wick went all the way up <clears throat> to 370. So let's say this is the application you want to use. When I apply the one-fifth rule to a trade, here's how I do it. I look at the range in which I would like to start shorting, which would be anywhere in this range right here, okay? And notice, I'm, I'm gonna point something out to you. I do not split orders over here and then over here and wait for confirmation. I don't do that. I If if I wanna to add to a winner, I've gotta realize a piece of profit first. That's a winner. That is a winner. A winner that is all unrealized gains is nothing. It is nothing. It is a no trade, right? It, is, it, it means nothing. It, it's, it's, the, it's the age old thing that, you know, I can't lose if I don't sell. So it's not a loser. It's not a winner if you don't sell either and lock in any piece of the profit. So you've got to lock in some profit before you can add back what you previously covered. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.